I, yeah, I want to go back to that to that renewal piece for a moment because okay. you know here, here's what I find. And you tell me if, if you hit you feel the same way, Shereen. Um, insurance careers are almost like a secret. Like, okay, true. Yes, we want to make sure people are protected. We're going to educate them about what's available. We're going to make sure their family is covered and taken care of in a time of need. Mm-hmm. But the business is so lucrative as well. Mm-hmm. And no one talks about this. I know when I was young, no one told me, you know, what you could make in this industry mm-hmm. as an agent or as a, even an executive or wh- wh- whatever the role, role may be. I mean, it, it's crazy. Um, the renewals. So renewals, what, what are, what are renewals? Well, it depends on what type of policy it is. So for car insurance, it's six months is most not, of the time. And not the amount. No, I'm just, I just want to define what, what the renewal is. Okay, are. renewal <laughs> is when you redo your policy for the six-month mark, car yeah. insurance, for example. So you do car insurance. We, you know, the rate may go down and may go up, but very seldom it'll go down unless, you know, one of your discounts or something are added on. But- we get paid based off renewals, not as much as at the beginning, but you still get paid based off of a customer renews with you. And um, that's good retention. So you yeah. always want your retention to be high because that's your renewals coming in. So you make sure you babysit those customers for you know six months or to a year to make sure they're happy so they can stick with you. And in the independent route, like I told you earlier, make sure you shop them Cause a lot of people, even though I don't rep, you know, I don't promote, I got cheaper rates. I don't promote that, but that's what people are really looking for. Bottom line. Right. So, so you want to make sure you, you're at least telling them, Hey, I'm giving you the best affordable rate that I have based off the coverage. I feel you need for your auto or home. That's right. So once you do those service, they'll come back to you because they won't, it's, it's hard to find a, a good agent, put it that way. Some agents, that's all they want to do is get your commission. Mm -hmm. And um, you need to find an agent that actually cares about your assets because it's your, you know, your stuff. You want to make sure it's protected and make sure they're available if you need to file a claim. Yeah. So uh, adding on to that, whatever company you end up with, make sure you research how they handle their claims. That's very important as well. Mm -hmm. So... There are some companies that won't pay out a claim. I won't give any names, but there are some companies out there, but their rates are good. Okay, you so, need to put it offline so I can make sure, you know. Right, <laughs> and that's another thing. A lot of people are doing their doing their own insurance online. They'll go on insurance and do 1-800-GOOD-LUCK. That's what I call it. Right. They'll go in and they'll say, oh, I'm going to get me a rate and I'm going to do it myself. But there are adding on coverages that don't make sense. Way, yeah, you gonna pay way you 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 pay way way more. So look, the agent the agent is necessary. In yes, the it's we, okay. We we, we don't somebody. fight. We're trying to help. It's okay yeah. to talk to a person. Yes, but we can do it online for you if you don't want to talk to us. But just don't don't do it yourself. You, you if you're not licensed, do not do it yourself. I promise you. you Sidebar. <laughs> This is a sidebar because when you said that, that just that just struck a chord with me. Um, my homeowner's insurance. All right, a, a friend of mine, friend of mine quoted me on on my homeowner's insurance. But before he quoted me, I went online and I looked at a site with a little lizard, right? <laughs> and I put my information in, and the quote was. Now here's the thing: the quote for the house was like $3,400 for the mm-hmm. year, okay? I talked to my boy. I said, look, let me, tell me what you could do for me on this. Mm-hmm. It was $2,000 cheaper. Yep. I'm mm-hmm. like, what? <laughs> How's that even possible? <laughs> yep. Or on the flip side, car insurance, <laughs> people do it, but they won't tell us how many tickets or accidents you have when you do right. it yourself. So when you get to us and the rates are high, you're like, no, I want the rate that I got online. Well, of course, you didn't even tell the truth online. Of course you want that rate. So we, we hear all types of stuff when people do their do it themselves. Hey, look, 
look, one, when buying insurance, you know, talk mm -hmm. to an agent. You yes. Know, if you're in, 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 in South Carolina, Georgia area, you need mm -hmm. to talk to Sheree Blake. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking to become an agent, listen to what Sheree is saying so that you can be the kind of agent that's really going to be able to add value because, you know, you're, you have to compete with uh, you have to be able to utilize the technology that is out there, but you also have to be able to compete with it as well, you know, right. and be knowledgeable mm -hmm. in order to do that. Yep. So at, at this stage of, uh, of your career, tw 23 years, you know, in, in the business, uh, you've built an agency, you've achieved success, you, you've been successful in, in several areas of your life. Um, and I, and South Carolina director, Black Wall Street. Want to mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit as well? Yeah, that's my my new role. We're, we're still working on it, but those of you that don't know the history, it it's uh you know started in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but there's so many other areas that has happened to that we didn't know about. We recently started learning about the Tulsa, so we're trying to now with Black Wall Street USA, we're trying to put it in each state and try to, you know, form groups to create our own Black Wall Street. And it's not like we're just dealing with Black people. We're dealing with everybody. But just the name, we want to continue to, you know, the legacy with the name. Right. So that's, that's just it. Right. Mm -hmm. Hold it on to the, to the traditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, this, this form isn't, isn't, you know, we don't do the entire history lesson of what Tulsa is, but, you know, definitely... Uh, it's it's worth if you have not heard of you know Tulsa yeah. Oklahoma Research, which they, they were not the only one they were yeah. not the only ones you no. know uh, <laughs> it was these types of things happen throughout the country but it's certainly mm -hmm. things that you should know and uh, carrying on that tradition and really creating that network of of businesses and and other you know entrepreneurs and you know throughout the country mm -hmm. is is an important endeavor as well so with everything that you've done you know thus far how how are you staying like how do you stay motivated how do you continue to be motivated day to day you say you work until nine o'clock tonight mm -hmm. you know what, what what keeps Sheree Blake going well I'm only up till nine o'clock working because I deal with a lot of dealerships mm -hmm. so the dealerships their biggest issue was we don't have an agent that's open past six o'clock and there you are and you know when people get off from work that's where they go they go to the dealership from six to eight o'clock at night. So that was my reason of, you know, expanding, you know, extending my hours to nine o'clock. But that's my motivation to making sure I'm available for when, when you need it. And um, back to Wall Street, um, we decided that we're going to, you know, help the businesses that are already intact, help them, you know, give them con cons consultations on their businesses because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know how to keep their businesses once they get it so we you know formed a group to cry you know try to grow the agencies grow the different type of businesses make sure they know the steps to keep their business make sure they have their their employees intact make sure mm -hmm. they got their certifications yes and make sure they have their you know the licenses and also life insurance to make sure they keep, you know, like the key man I was telling you about, make sure all that's intact. Because if you look back at what happened in Tulsa, um, I think they started off with the life insurance and they declined all their claims. Mm -hmm. So that's basically how that went. And that's why I got involved because life insurance is one of the things I do. And I wanted to make sure everybody knew how life insurance worked. And um is something I always say, life insurance, you do not have to die to use it. You can use it while you're alive. Yeah. So you can build, yeah, you can build on it. You can use it. If you have any type of sickness, like a uh, high blood pressure, no, if you had heart attack or, you know, those type of illnesses, you can use your life insurance to take care of those fees, hospital fees while you're living. So a yeah. lot of people don't use life insurance to the advantage. They feel like, well, I'm not going to be here to use it. I'm not going to leave nobody rich. And I'm like, well, it's $25,000. First off, it's $25,000. Right. <laughs> you're, <not laughs> you're not leaving nobody rich. Yeah. So, and then, you know, the cost of burial is, you know, growing. Continuing and, to um, Yeah. So that money is going to be eat up anyway. Yeah. So, um, 
just make sure people are more educated in the life insurance department, especially when it comes to us. Yeah. Because we we rather wear, if you know what I mean. We we rather wear our money. Yeah. <laughs> yo, man, a friend of my yo. If one you know my, what I mean. One of my so, colleagues was just saying, he's like, yeah, man, a lot of times, you know, folks rather wear Ferragamos than protect themselves, you know? Yeah, because they want to, there's something <laughs> they have to touch. If you can't touch it, they don't want to, they don't yeah. want to deal with it. And then life insurance is the first bill that they let lapse. If something, if their money is issue, that's the first thing they let go. So we're trying to educate more of us about what to do with your life insurance, keep it going. And even when it comes to your kids, people are getting these um, stimulus checks and tax refunds and all this stuff. Right. Just buy a paid up policy for the year for your kid and you don't have to worry about it for a year. Mm. That's what, $200? There you go. Two, $300. But people not, they don't want to sit down and get educated on that. So I feel like I have to, that's what I'm doing. For, for, the, newer, for the newer people who are, who are listening, people who are new to the business, new agents, I mean, Sharia is giving you like marketing gems right now too. Mm -hmm. She said she stayed open late for the car. I'm gonna go back. She stayed open late <laughs> for the car dealerships. People come after work. This mm -hmm. is she's building clientele, utilizing the car dealerships and the yep. after hours. So she she's filling a void where no one else is filling it. She also said, look, people are getting these stimulus checks. We got the the child tax credits yep. that are coming out right now. You know, you, that's money coming in that you did not know you were getting. You know. That's right. So these are, these are things that, you know, young people who are in the business, you can utilize these same tools, this information, this knowledge uh, that she's given you, and you can mm -hmm. use that to enhance, you know, your career uh, as well. And if you're someone listening and you don't have these coverages in place, then, you know, maybe that's making you think a little bit differently about how you want to allocate some of your finances as well, because th these right. things are important to have. I mean, so... <sighs> If you didn't have, okay, so if you didn't have an insurance license, I think, and maybe I know the answer is maybe I don't. If you didn't have an insurance license, you weren't in this business, what would you be doing? Well, I was told I'm supposed to be a model. So I don't know if that would have been it. But then again, I got a little bit of tomboy in me. So I don't know. I don't really know <laughs> what it would have been at this point. But I know business was going to be it. Yeah. Yeah. I love helping people, protecting people. I don't see me being in the medical field or um, a cop or a fire person. So I really don't know. Insurance was probably the only fit. Yeah. I thought yeah. once you get into this business, like you, you in it. Mm -hmm. And there's so many products in insurance, like for yeah. you, you do, um, you know, employee benefits. So yeah. therefore there's so much to do. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, look, and, and like you, you know, so many carriers that are out here, mm -hmm. like you're trying to figure all of that out and different regulations and laws keep changing. So there's always, you know, something new to learn and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a new way to grow and, and help people and, mm -hmm. you know, continue to build on your career. So what's the, what's the goal? What's the end goal for, for you, Shireen? What, what's Just the, educating everybody I talk to. Educating everybody. You talk everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you come within six feet of Cherie Blake, you're going to learn something about insurance. <laughs> you're going to learn something about insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Education. It. Just stay it. educated. I love it. And, and you gave some, some tips, some tips earlier about, you know, going in, going into the business, um, just some of the tools, but you know, someone who's listening to this, they've listened to your interview, listened to your story. They're on a fence of thinking, maybe this is something that I, that I might want to, want to do or get into what, what words do you have for them you can always do insurance part-time until you really figure it out yeah yeah so because that's what I did when I was teaching I was doing insurance part-time so you can work your own hours especially if you're working for yourself you can work your own hours and hire a, a virtual assistant love it see how she just she's just giving you tools right here <laughs> that's why you need to get with her so yep. she can train you <laughs> yeah train man. you up mm -hmm. right I love it. I love it. Hey, look, thank you, uh, Sharif, for joining Welcome. us. Please share what your contact information. How do people get in contact uh, with you, find out more about your business, and uh, even, you know, potentially, you know, find out how they can get some, some training from you as well. All right. All my information is on my website. So you can go to Sheree B Agency. So it's S-C-H-E-R-R-I-E-B 
agency.com. And I talk about all the products I carry and also the opportunities to open your own agency. All right, and you'll see that on the bottom of the screen as well. Uh, so you can uh, visit the site, find out more. Cherie, thank you so much Welcome. for being a guest. Um, I, I've enjoyed it. I think you, you've dropped several, several nuggets, you know, mm -hmm. that others can take into their business. And for I anyone hope so. listening, you know, I hope they, uh, you know, find that uh, it, it was, you know, valuable. And uh, if they're in that area, hopefully they'll, you know, reach out to you so they can, you know, get on board because it sounds yeah. like you got some great training and um, will be a great teacher and coach for them. Yeah. You know, and I cover anybody in any state. So every state. wherever you're at. So every, wherever you are, if you wherever are in the U.S., are. international, because we have international. Some international people too. Do you do No, no, no. U.S. US. Okay. All right. If you're in the U.S. Let me make sure. U.S. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the U.S., you can talk to Cherie. If you're outside yeah. of the U.S., <laughs> you know, you can visit her website though. You know, yeah. you can listen to her, her mm -hmm. uh, podcast and, and, and her information and the videos and things that she has out there. Thank you once again. Hey, look, for those who are listening, or if you're watching the video version of this, maybe you heard something that will make you think to yourself, hmm, maybe I should get a license as well. Until the next time, talk soon. Thank you. All right.